Hello, this is Chris Bennett with TIL, and I have the pleasure of interviewing Tyrone Oates, who is the founder of NextGen Resist. Uh, and before we start, I want to say welcome, Tyrone, and also give a shout out to all the first responders and the healthcare workers and the people who are on the front lines doing their thing so we can do our part by sheltering in space and practicing physical distancing. Absolutely. What that also liberates us to do though is share great ideas. And I think we have an opportunity for that today. So Tyrone, uh, let's start out by asking you to give us a sound bite. And in that sound bite, if you could introduce Next Gen Resist and, and what you're trying to do for society. Next Gen Resist is going to empower people by giving them access to customized self-defense smart technology with the adaptability to help them in a variety of potentially life-threatening situations. The way that we accomplish this is by centralizing the personal protective technology field to allow vulnerable people more autonomous decision-making capabilities in times of crisis. Well, thank you for that. Uh, and that is a great setup to what's the purpose behind your you're adapting and creating and innovating in the personal protection space. Why are you doing it? Save lives, it's simple. Okay. And is there a little bit of a backstory behind that? In addition to being obviously a good Samaritan. There is, there is. Um, and I actually think that NGR's creative moment actually leads in to where the inspiration came so is it okay to speak a little bit about the creativity first? Because I think that ties into where I got my inspiration from. Well, in, in fact, that's a great segue into the next question, which is what's your outrageously creative moment? So feel empowered to combine those. Okay. Um, so an outrageously creative moment in this entire process, it materialized out of a conversation that I had with some friends this past summer at our annual gathering for Mensa. Um, we were all walking somewhere. One of my friends and I had, had rompers on, long story involving pageants, raising money for children. Um, we were spitballing about pockets in women's dresses versus pockets in men's clothing. Um, just like women and men have the same needs to carry stuff, they also have the same needs to protect themselves in public. With having joint needs, but with different products marketed to each, is this actually fair? Men can have keys in their pockets to get in their homes. Women have to keep them in their purses. It takes longer to take out, putting them more at risk. Everything I need to call for help or get where I'm going, I can keep in my pocket because I don't have to think about the fact that most of my clothes have useful pockets. That's something that I take for granted. How this impacts the self-defense space to make self-defense more accessible for everyone. So current options, bulky, cumbersome, this grew into a more solidified approach for the company, how to find more efficient ways to protect people when they're in public alone because current solutions don't really work. I see the best way to do this is to integrate the best of all the products without any of the worst. Almost taking an obsessive approach of only incorporating the absolute necessities while trashing the rest. For example, I want to take the best aspects of tasers. I see their primary function being using electricity as a deterrent. The apps that we use on our smartphones that keep us safe, their primary function is awareness, prevention. By identifying obsessively the best aspects, I was able to conceptualize the utility of developing almost a, a mobile command center for your hand. NGR's value add to customers is going to come from this mobile command center. It's going to change the way that we integrate safety into our normal lives when we're walking. It's going to be easier to adapt to any situation that one might encounter. Well, thank you for that, Tyrone. So that sets us up for creative and arguably outrageous inspiration. But let's dig a little deeper. Who are you? Who's the person behind this sense of innovation? And yeah. how does that affect your organization? Kind of what's the backstory? Well, I'm I'm 28. Um, I just turned 28. I live in the DC area. Okay. I'm, working on, I'm working on my second company. Thank you. Um, I'm at the R&D phase for a third company that I'm developing. Um, my organization. 
NextGen Resist is a self-defense wearable tech startup designed to transform personal protection for those likely to be at risk for encountering danger by using the smart technology that I referenced to customize the use for each individual wearer, affording any person the ability to efficiently defend themselves regardless of their size or fighting ability is going to be how we provide value to our customers. Um, speak more on smart weapons. Smart weapons by definition are given their name by their ability to precisely hit a specific target, minimize collateral damage, and increase lethality, if you will, against intended targets. NGR's products will only work on who they're intended to. We eliminate collateral damage. It also prevents smart weapons from being able to be taken from the user, which actually is a current pitfall of the entire self-defense personal protective space. Most, most who are listening are familiar with the concept of the, the Swiss Army knife. Um, the Swiss Army knife was originally created in the 1890s for use by the Swiss military, but, but now we use it for things like camping. The, the idea behind it was that by incorporating multiple important pieces of hardware that could have different functionalities into one, people wouldn't have to carry around as much. The, the versatility allows for a successful application to various scenarios one might encounter. In the personal protective wear self-defense space, there exists no such thing. Now, why does this matter? Existing personal protective technology consists of four, four types of systems. Systems that are physical in nature and applied with force, like a combat glove. Systems that are chemical in nature and applied using projection, like pepper spray, mace. Systems that are based on projectiles that are aimed and deployed towards a target, like a firearm. Systems that are based on electricity that are administered by physical application and or extension, like a taser. Why does this matter? This matters because the security of each one of these systems depends almost entirely on the ability of an actor to obtain, control, and administer effectively while withholding control from a bad actor. Current personal protective platforms cannot accomplish this. A lot of companies are iterating on broken concepts on how to protect people without the answers to these concerns. These are the concerns that NGR is going to address. Understood, understood. And that's, a, that's a, I think, an interesting background on the NGR and its innovation. Um, and on the topic of innovation, what's your source? Where are you drawing this, this uh, sense? My source of inspiration comes from people. People, no, no one, uh, myself included, can build in the bubble. Um, Entrepreneurs are always growing, learning, relearning. From this, innovation can be achieved. I, my, my first company um, that I had a successful exit from, my cap app, um, the first art that I created during the time I spent working on Capitol Hill, that's where I got most of my, my inspiration from. Had I not had the benefit of those experiences, my cap app might have never come to fruition the way that it did. I, I saw a gap in the education system um, as it related to virtual reality and, and wanted to do something to give better access to disadvantaged students so they could benefit from the, the rich history they couldn't experience for themselves. Okay. In a, innovation can, can be anywhere. Innovation almost requires that you look at everything as a problem. It, it requires you to almost be a bit of a pessimist. Like, everything sucks. How can I make this better? Take it up a notch. Um, this is great, but innovation is okay too. At the time, no one really knows that they need innovation. Taxi cabs were fine until we came up with a better way to travel. Ride sharing. Carrying around a, a camera was fine until you could carry around a smartphone with a camera built in. Opportunity is everywhere. The, the best and brightest entrepreneurs are the ones that are able to see a problem, capitalize on a solution. That solution being the, the most you really need to think about as it relates to, to what's important. Um, my cap app was inspired by the tour guide process. Now, next gen resist, that inspiration came from spending a lot of time with my mother when I was growing up. Um, we, we lived in an apartment um, growing up and with apartment life, we, we often had to leave one apartment to go to another to do things like laundry, trash delivery, th things like that. I saw a gap, uh, a scary gap for me because my mother physically is not an imposing woman. And I would always wonder what would happen if 
as I grew up and went to college and left the house, how would she be able to complete these regular tasks mm -hmm. without me being there? Okay. Um, And Tyrone, I think we just realized a freeze on the video for a moment. Oh. And I think I lost audio for probably about 10 seconds. So I think uh, the Zoom would recover. Okay. But let's, so what we got was uh, the scary moment. I heard you describe your concern about your mother's safety. And you identified that gap. And then I think it went into a short freeze. So please continue. My um, apologies. Um, <laughs> another source of inspiration comes specifically from other entrepreneurs. Um, for mm -hmm. me, I'm, I'm inspired by fellow mentors in this space. I read a lot. I'm, I'm always following everyone. Um, yes, I've, I've sold a company, but, but that doesn't mean I stopped learning. I recently went out to Indiana to spend some time with a, a connection of mine, uh, Carl LaPan at the <laughs> Nick. It's an elite entrepreneurial resource center in Northeast Indiana that's launched over 467 new products, facilitated over $91 million in capital investments and research grants. Um, mm -hmm. Reading one of his books reminded me of a quote by Albert Einstein, no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. Mm -hmm. Because of this, mm -hmm. this is a way that innovation can lead to success. One example is shown with the COVID-19 crisis that our country is currently facing. We've changed the way we see delivery services. Mm -hmm. Companies changed rapidly with no warning to adapt, innovation on the fly. One of the mm -hmm. main points that I got from, from reading and finding my inspiration is just how crucial innovation and adaptability is to survival. Okay. Thank you for that. In fact, let's take that a little bit closer to home now because of your broad experience, your prior exit. Um, how do all these experiences and education and the knowledge come together to create value in your terms? How, does these, how do these things make a difference from your perspective? By looking at a problem for me, value comes from providing a solution to that problem, to coming up with a viable solution that helps people. The, the last time we spoke, I mentioned access being the most important thing ever. NGR creates value by developing a platform that would give access to everyone to have an equal level of safety. Going back to the, the romper story that I shared about how uh, we can carry more in our pockets, but both genders have the same fundamental need to be safe. Because of something as simple as pocket size, a woman would have less access to achieve the goals that she needs, like getting in her house, than I do. Taking that, extrapolating in the self-defense space highlights some of the main problems that I want to solve with NGR. There are design flaws inherent with almost everything that's out there. That's what I need to focus on. That's what I need to solve. Well, thank you for that, Tyron. And kind of speaking of solving things, uh, let's do a slight diversion. In this COVID-19 pandemic economy, do you have any solution or recommendation words that you'd like to share with the audience? Um, first, I, I want to echo um, your sentiments earlier. Um, there are people that are risking their lives that are on the front lines to allow us to have these conversations. Um, and I really want to do highlight that. Um, that's, that's important. That's at the forefront. Um, COVID is going to change the way that we do business permanently. Like, like I said, look at the restaurant deliveries that, that went from luxurious commodities to a necessity to keep the wheel spinning. Companies are going to need to adapt if they're going to survive. This is also going to change entrepreneurship in a huge way, and we need to pay attention to this. Um, I'm also happy to announce that I'm going to be doing some giveaways on, on my Instagram page um, for people that are hit hardest by this. Um, I'm, I'm going to be dropping videos to explain my creative process um, in working from home, how to adapt to um, everything being virtual, inspiring others, how to adjust entrepreneurially when, when the country is kind of put on pause. 
Um, okay. I cope personally, um, professionally, by having versatile operations, quickly adjusting from being out there networking to networking from home. Um, NGR created just enough versatility in our operations to continue our work mostly unhindered during the quarantine. And it's really lucky for us. Um, mm -hmm. It just, our work just looks a little bit different, but I wanna share a lot more of that on my Instagram page um, mm -hmm. to highlight exactly what this looks for me, um, what this looks like for me at home right now. Well, that sounds like a, a helpful digital share that's coming down the pipe from NGR. So thank you in advance for that. And that gets us to the next to last question. Uh, what's next for NGR and for you in its journey to adapt and create and innovate? NGR is going to be getting a patent pending status on our products to change the way that people protect themselves and mm -hmm. each other. Um, Next year, this is going to establish ourselves as a leader in non-lethal self-defense by revolutionizing safety. Um, okay. To highlight this, NGR is looking to collaborate with creative entrepreneurs in the arts and music space that share our visions of making communities safer to help people change the ways that we think about safety. Um, a sense of community is really important to our mission and we're developing ways to bring people together to create change. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited for some of these collaborations. All right, excellent, excellent. So before we adjourn, Tyrone, uh, do you have any parting words of wisdom that you'd like to share with the audience? Um, yes, yes. Uh, first, I, I would love for, for everyone to follow my journey on Instagram. Um, my handle is at Tyrone, my first name. Um, Technology is ever evolving. Um, it, it becomes increasingly easier for bad actors to, to do what they do. Um, there's unmet needs, people aren't safe, and the products that they're using aren't helping them to be safe. We need to talk about this. Um, for entrepreneurs, this is your time to push. How companies, both established and developing, adapt their operations in the next few months is going to make or break them and define their story. The next generation of entrepreneurs who are in high school right now are going to learn from us fail often, but quickly. Well, thank you so much for that share. And uh, thank you for, so much for your innovations that you're contributing to the public interest. Um, we want to wish you great success. And we will maybe reaching out to you to follow up and see what happens with NGR on the other side of this COVID-19 pandemic economy. Absolutely. So, Looking forward to it. Thank you so much. All right. So be well and good fortune to you and to the entire NGR community. Thank you. Hang in there. All right, you too. Take care now.